Imagine if you could read an entire novel in an hour or a news article in just a minute. There's a technology out of Boston, Massachusetts that's trying to help you do just that. It's called Spritz. I'm joined now by the CEO and co-founder, Frank Waldman. Thanks for being with us. It's great to be here. What is Spritz? Well, Spritz is a technology that helps you read material faster and also in small spaces. So you're reading on the go, you're on the subway. It's a way to consume information. How do you get someone to read faster without sort of teaching them to speed read? The secret of our technology is that your eye doesn't have to move. A lot of time spent reading is moving your eye from word to word across the line. And when your brain is moving your eye, that's what it's doing. It's not comprehending what you're reading or anything. So if we take that movement away and we position the word where you can recognize each word without moving your eye, then you can read fast. But we've grown up learning how to read left to right or in some cultures right to left, right? right? I mean, how much time are we really talking about wasting? How much is that efficiency or inefficiency present in how we read today? Well, it's about 80% of the time you're, you spend moving your eye. And so the idea is to get you to focus on one place, relax, and just let the words stream into your brain. Okay. And it's amazing that some people can read four to five times faster. All right, so let's see how it works. Well, I have for a basic demo an email application that we developed for the Samsung Galaxy phone. Right. And it looks just like normal email, except when I click on it, it's going to show me the email in its entirety. And I can read as much of it as I want. If I want to go to another email, I just tap the next one. This is 300 words a minute, which is only slightly faster than the introductory speed that we would start you at. And you'll find that you can read emails at like 500 words a minute. <laughs> okay, so uh, besides the phone, are there other applications for it? Well, when we developed this app for the phone, we were actually developing the email app for the watch. Okay. So this is the Samsung smartwatch, the Gear 2. Right. And we developed uh, the same email app uh, for the watch. And here you can see I have one new email on my watch. Right. And normally what would happen is as soon as it arrives, it would shake my wrist. Okay. I would look down at it and say, hmm, is that an email that I want to read? Uh, if so, I would just tap it. And here uh, is it playing. Same display, just scaled to the watch. And that's it. That's so basically, the now there's just one word that's moving on the watch instead of me having to try to scroll up or down. Exactly. And if I want to, I could just tap that email, view it or reply. I'll hit reply. Um, and then it pulls up that email on my phone. Great. And so it's already ready for your type. And this works on iPads or computers as well? Sure. So this is an example of reading on a larger screen. And you can slide the speed. That's right. You can increase your speed and read it really fast. I'm trying to figure out the ways that I've learned how to read have taught me comprehension by going back and forth, by jumping, saying, oh, I didn't really get this paragraph. Maybe I need to reread it. Right. That seems like that would be harder if I'm just getting one word at a time. It would be. But just let me show you. In the case of this particular app that we made, you have the ability to go back a sentence or go back a paragraph. So if you need to reread it, you can just back up. You're really talking about changing a behavior that people have associated with navigating life. When you're a child, you learn how to read, you're reading left to right, and you're reinforced for that behavior over time. Right. Um, people say, hey, you're a great reader, you have great comprehension, and here's a technology solution that kind of upends that entire model. Yeah, it's, it's very disruptive in that way. But, you know, we have young people reading this way all the way up to my 87-year-old aunt. Um, so it's applicable across uh, all generations. What about the ability to retain information long term? Is there a risk that reading it this way, I might not remember what it is as well as if I had read it on pages and I'm almost making visual maps and visual guidelines. There are ways to in, improve comprehension reading conventionally as well. So uh, the same techniques that you use for reading that way, you'll find you'll do them this way also. But we've tested a lot of people, over a thousand people, and we find that the comprehension is comparable. Where do you see Spritz being used most? Well, now we're focused on mobile because so much digital content is going mobile and that's where we want to be. We want to be where people are changing their behavior anyway. 
what's to keep you in the lead here? Well, um, it's not as simple as it looks. There is some intellectual property that we spent several years developing. Uh, we have quite a few patents pending, and uh, we think we're the first ones to do it. Luckily, here uh, in the U.S., we can protect that. And are some of the fundamentals of speed reading behind this? I mean, this idea of sort of chunking pieces of text? No, actually, uh, there's nothing about speed reading in this. So speed reading is to widen your peripheral vision so that you can absorb an entire line of text. And this is the opposite, really. This is the opposite. That's right. So this is the opposite of speed reading, but it's helping you read faster. That's right. And without training. So, you know, we're not trying to, uh, you know, quadruple everybody's reading speed. Uh, you know, we think that, in fact, the only way to really consume information on a small screen is to read it a word at a time. And so, you know, we're focused on those cases where putting information into a small space is really the way to do it. But if people like to speed read or like to read multiple words at a time, you know, stay with that technique. All right, Frank Waldman from Spritz, thanks so much. Thank you.